The holiday season is rapidly approaching, it's barreling down on us like a runaway train, and finding the right gift can be tough, especially if you want to find something that's genuinely useful, but also stay within a budget. So I wanted to help you out by giving my top five photo, video, gift ideas that are all under $50. So if you've got someone in your life who's into photo and video gear, these are all awesome gift ideas. And this is totally not a sponsored video. I purchased all these products myself, and most importantly, I actually use them regularly. Um, most of them I use every single week multiple times. A lot of them I use in every single video I make, and some of them I use every single day. The first item on my list is probably the most underrated piece of equipment I own, which is the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's super strong, super simple to use. It works great for cameras, lights, microphones, really anything that takes a quarter 20 mount. It is a ball mount, but there are no plates, there are no knobs, there are no dials, there's just one button. You push this button, position it how you want, let go, and then it stays there. It's so simple and so efficient, and it's really sturdy, all metal construction. It can hold a surprising amount of weight. It can definitely support a DSLR camera to some degree, but it's definitely made for, you know, a little bit lighter items than that. And even though this can hold a surprising amount of weight, my favorite pairing is to put the Sony RX100 on top of it. And this is a great little simple rig that goes pretty much anywhere, takes up no space, doesn't weigh anything. The best part about this little tripod is that it usually comes in under $20. So it's not even a bad idea to have maybe a couple of these around because you can use them for so many different things. The next holiday recommendation under $50 are these red cable whips. You might have seen these before, but these little tiny red cable whips serve like a thousand purposes. I pretty much keep a stockpile of them on hand at all times. They come in a 12 pack, usually for about $10. They're great for all kinds of cable management, whether it's keeping things neat in a bag or a drawer, or keeping things organized under a desk, or if you've got a light or a microphone set up that has a cable, you can use these whips to just sort of keep the cable tied to the boom arm that it's on, and then it won't fall down into your shot or get in the way. You can really never go wrong with having a few of these in your camera bag. They don't break easily like rubber bands and they're a lot faster to use compared to traditional Velcro clips. So these little cable whips are incredibly useful and they last a really long time. The next item on my list is this filter case by MindShift. So filters for your lenses can be shockingly expensive, so you definitely do want to take care of them. But unfortunately, if you pack them all in their own individual containers and cases, they kind of become annoying to travel with because they take up so much space in your bag. So this small little organizer keeps everything organized by color. Semi-rigid, so it's not easy to crush or bend, but it also doesn't take up a lot of space. I keep all of my 77 millimeter ND filters in here, my Polar Pro non-variable ones, and then my variable ND, and I just put this in my bag anytime I travel. It fits great in a camera bag. It's got a super small footprint. It even has a little, oops, <laughs> see it protected them when they fell. It even has a little, oh my God. And it usually retails for around 30 to $40, and it's made out of super strong material that's not gonna rip or break anytime soon. Mine's a couple years old, and it still looks the same as it did the day I took it out of the box. The next item on my holiday list is gaff tape. And even if you're not using it for photo and video purposes, you can really never go wrong with having a roll of gaff tape around the house. It's got the strength of like duct tape or almost gorilla tape, but it doesn't leave any residue. So when you take a piece of it and you put it onto any surface or even onto clothing or skin or carpet, it doesn't leave residue when you take it off and it's easy to remove in one piece. So it's not damaging at all. It's great for using on equipment. It's great for keeping cables out of the way. It's great for taping microphones under clothing. I've used it on costumes even. One of the best benefits of gaff tape, if you didn't notice, is it's super easy to tear with just your hands and it tears in a straight line. Once you've got a strip, it's even easier to tear it into smaller pieces, like my super sad little tree here. I can see. Holiday gaff tape. Up next is a delightful gift idea, which is this little Aperture M9 mini light. This little light of mine, Aperture does make a lot of much, much more expensive lighting equipment, but this thing is what sold me on them being a good company, because this is under $50, 
but it packs such a punch. It is incredibly bright, so if I turn it on, that's just sort of how bright it is, and I can change the brightness on the side, so much so that I can't even look into it because it's so bright. And of course, you can dim it down. So this is incredibly useful. It's super small, so it fits in your bag. It's super lightweight. It charges with USB. The battery lasts a long time. A lot of times, I end up putting it in this little cabinet back here when I'm filming my video so that the cabinet has some light shining behind it. And that's what's really great with these lights is they can add little accents all over the place. And so for the price, you not only get the light, but you get a little case that it comes in. You get the USB charging cord. It has a mount that lets you clip it onto a hot shoe or a light stand, or pretty much anything. So you can mount this light anywhere. It doesn't weigh anything. And it also does come with a couple of gels, which are really cool because the front diffuser is just held on with magnets. And so you just put the gel on the light, put the diffuser back on, and then when you turn it on, you've got color temperature blue and color temperature orange. And of course you could put any color gel that you want, but this, I love magnets. I love anything that deals with magnets. So I've used this in like every video for a long time. I would love to have several more of these. This is one of the best gift ideas you can have. One of my favorite things to do with this is to set it sort of just off camera and add in little lighting effects. I love to hide it around products when I'm doing B-roll shots or thumbnail photos. So that way instead of just having a product by itself, you can put the light behind it and then in your shot or in your thumbnail, you've sort of got this sort of interesting bit of lighting design taking place. For $50, under $50, I really don't think that you could find a better light. And so those are five holiday gift recommendations, but what would a top five video be without a few bonus items? Plus it was super hard for me to make a list of only five things and bonus items let me sneak in a couple other things. So bonus item number one, a Swiss Army knife. So this isn't directly camera related, but you really can't go wrong with having a good Swiss Army knife around. And if you've ever shopped for one or looked at them, they make so many different models, it's really overwhelming because they come with different tools. This one is the one I prefer, it's the Tinker, and it has all of these standard Swiss Army knife essentials, but it has a few key things, including multiple flatheads, which are helpful for putting on tripod and camera gear. It's got a pair of scissors that seem a little bit larger than most pocket knives, so that's really helpful. And the piece that's most helpful to me is it comes with a pair of pliers these have saved me so many times when I'm not here and I'm out somewhere on a trip and something gets stuck or jammed or needs to be tightened. These little pliers really do a lot. So a nice Swiss Army knife like this can really help solve a lot of those unexpected problems that pop up like during production or on a trip or just when you find yourself away from normal tools. And the final bonus gift recommendation is a little bit silly, but it's these little tiny levels that go in your camera's hot shoe or your accessory shoe. They seem sort of goofy at first, they're super cheap, they usually come in like a four pack or an eight pack, they're only a few dollars, but they're so handy. Every time someone uses my camera and they see this on top of it, they comment on it and they end up really liking it and wanting them for themselves. So it's nice they come in a multi-pack because you'll end up giving a bunch of them away. But as silly as they seem, these can be surprisingly useful. I got mine originally because I just wanted to keep dust from getting into my camera's accessory shoe. I live in the desert and it's super dusty and dust in cameras just isn't really a good thing. But even if you're using a tripod that has a level, sometimes when you have your camera mounted on top of it, it blocks your view of the level. So having this on top of your camera really makes a pretty big difference. Plus if you use a ball head a lot, like I do on my travel tripod, this makes it very easy to help ensure that your camera is level no matter what kind of weird angle the ball head is at. And every time I use it, I'm kind of shocked at how useful this is. It's a great little stocking stuffer gift. So no matter who the photo and video enthusiast is in your life, there's got to be something on this list that they're going to like and they're going to enjoy. And my favorite part about giving gifts like these is that they're genuinely useful to whoever you give them to. But if none of these gift ideas are really lighting up your Christmas lights, I do have a couple other ideas. Things like subscriptions to Artlist and Epidemic can be incredibly useful to people who produce video. I do have a video that explains the differences between those two services and also highlights a few other super affordable subscription services that might also be the perfect holiday gift. So good luck in your quest to survive the holiday season. 